Let's read down for the stop cut <coughs> around. Over here, I'll just do a little. And unfortunately, unfortunately, that does bring the neck down a little farther. We don't want to stretch it any more than it already is, but. Now we'll get back to that. Well, while we're here, I like to have this little scoop. Just a little scoop. That's what we're aiming for. Look at the vest, just a little clean up because the vest, be careful, we don't want to cut too much, but we want to cut the, the, sh the vest out and the shirt in. And be careful. We want to come up to that collar. Again, we will have to, when we get down here, we'll have to figure out how the vest and coat and shirt goes. But, oops, I still want to get much deeper here. Running out of things to say. Things to say that I haven't said before. Now, um, I would like to get to these, this, the cleaning up of this. And I use my, um, my visor and little pick knife and stuff like that. It's going to, difficult to do that right now. Now it depends on how we want to do this, open this up, because he's got probably another shirt going on here. And I think we'll just simply color that shirt. Like he's got, you can't tell what has he got going on there. But we can still move the Native American thing down a bit here. Neck piece. That helps quite a bit. Okay. Well, you know, I hope we're not getting too far out. I mean, I hope that doesn't get to the point where you're going to upset or drives you crazy or anything I remember one said uh, well one way to prevent from that happening is you get a second person and he will da -da -ba -da 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 -da. you just need the keyword 
I like doing this alone because then um, I don't have to ask anybody, number one, and I don't, you know, I mean, this is like an all-day thing. You just don't ask somebody, oh, can you stay all day? And, and oh, I want to do a uh, another carving video. Well, no, I can't because I got this and that, so I got to forget about it until... So, but I'm still okay like this. <sighs> okay, now there's some personalities here. I can of the fest. I'm sure we can play it later. Oh, I forgot this side here. And just there we go. I mean, still starting to look pretty good. I think so. I mean, it's not uh, some of those uh, character carvers of America. Oh boy, they can come out with some good stuff. But like I said, this was sort of a rough out or cut out, whether you like it or not. And it makes you think a little more. And like I said, that uh, Sami Santa that I did in the rough out, it had the hand in the back, and I just couldn't figure out how to. And so the hand is in the back like that. That's just the way it goes. Now here, like I said, I'm going to, now, I'm going to be straightening out the arms a little more, but I'll just leave the vest for now and just do one of these undercuts. I like how they... creates this shadow. That nice shadow effect. And my knife needs to be sharpened. Okay, the vest. I want to be careful. I just commit to the vest here. Because I want uh, not only the vest, I like to have the vest kind of, this kind of a twisty thing here coming out. Same with probably on the other side. So I want a little bit of that out of there. And let's get this started. Because that's part of the shirt too, shirt that will be tucked in. We'll be doing on that. In fact, we can start on that pretty, pretty quick here. Round this off, making sure that the... I'll just take the marks off, but the elbow is still... The highest point. And there we go. Let the chips fly. That was my blog site. You could go uh, let the chips fly. It's an old blog site. I just got into it a couple, maybe a couple weeks ago. It's still there. All my old stuff. Let is it? Let the chips fly. Okay, now I want to get kind of committed to buckle and pants. Now he's not going to have a gun. I don't care for him to have a gun right now. I mean, you can modern cowboys sometimes have guns, but not not this one. We got don't have rum for it. No rum. I'm going to come down this way a bit. Still enough for to have a good buckle there. Gonna, so 
something like like this going on that's can shape it also later just kind of about as close as where's the the gig line here so we gotta move this over I mean of course he can't he doesn't have to be perfect either I mean he's about he's been out there I'm sure the buckle got kind of dinged up here and again and then we're gonna have the the belt and loop belt and loop how does that look as my dad would always say how does that grab you okay so yeah I'll commit to something like that well, first of all in pencil now the belt will be sagging down so we'll be coming back and if the belt is sagging down, it has to come up in the back, and that's what we're going to have to do. Make sure this goes up. That goes up. Higher here and start sagging back down again. Still not as good as I want it, and this has got to come up too. Now, okay, I want to commit to putting loop here, loop here. Now, here's the deal. Um, as I put my belt buckle, yeah, it's a, it goes on this side here, so I think I got too bad. I got more lumber on this side than on this side because it's going to have to. Something like this going on. That's the way my, mine is, that's the way his is. Yep. Is it? Yep. Here's one here. Now here we have it even here and here. Oops. Lighter. Now here's the other thing that we want going on, if we can, is depending on how I think I can lift that a little more. You know what? I gotta clean that up. I want to lift it higher because I want to put pockets in the back here too. Oops. Use the metal eraser. Now here is, like I said, let's go up here. Because yeah, that's gonna. What's going to happen here is it's going to come a little, a little bit like this. And with that, and we got the butt the. This going up like this. Again, let me erase. Then we can have a, a pocket here. Then we go here, here. Now the buckle, like I said, the buckle is going to be, the top part is going to be up this way. See how I got it kind of already at the top? Is that way? That's, that's what we got here. All right, I think we got enough. To get this going here. Put on my glove. Let's get the buckle 
one in first. Uh-huh. Now what I want to do is I, I'm more interested in getting that in first. That's that's the highest part of this. So what I want to do is I want to do this. Now, what before I do that, I want to get the buckle pretty well straightened out. this here And in fact, while we're at it, we can do some pockets in the front. If we got that straightened out, I think we can try to figure out. Now here, before I, now this is go goes this way. This is the opposite. This, this way, this, this way. Now the thing is, is I think we got too, we have much to carve before we, let me carve this in first, before we round this is what I want to do. this a little bit of this and then we can get a zipper and zipper mechanism in there if we could just get this started because it's still going to need to be rounded oops come back to it on the detailing but like I said I want to put that in and like I said I would like to make a pocket now the pocket in front is gonna be a little different it's gonna be this kind of a thing Just to say that there's a front pocket. Now where is it? It's just a below. Let's just, I'll leave that pencil. I'll leave that in there for now. Let's get the belt going. But I got this. Okay, now let's get the 
V. And now we can get the... I'm going to put the loop in first, because that's the highest, of course. Again, before we put the pocket in, let's do this first. We did the front. Let's do the back. So over here, we'll put this in. We'll put all the same. Well, I got my glove on here. My cuticle glove on. That's only two more cuts. All right, let's go here. Now this, I can put that in on the, on the behind, and what we're gonna do is you gotta shape that to the shape of the behind. The butoctyl. Now I just wanna get that cleared up first, just a little bit. And it's going to be about the same as where the crotch is. And rounding. And we're rounding. I think this cutout had a, gave an extra round to it, I think. Got that there. Again, more details and more cleaning up later, but right now there's the commitment. Now we go like this. And this. I think that might need to be thinned up a little bit. This. 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 Mm-hmm. while we're at it. Now what we want to do is bring the belt in that's holding the pants. Now we can do a little bit of angle. I mean, it's, I got it right now going kind of straight up and down. I think there should be kind of an angle to it. I don't see it in the picture. But I think if you want to put in, it doesn't have to be straight up and down. Mm -hmm. 